Madman2108, and I haven't done a jailbreak video in a while, so I figured I might as well do one of the only currently good 4.2.1 jailbreak. Now this is a tethered jailbreak, but what really surprised me about this jailbreak, apparently something has changed in the tethered and untethered stuff that I didn't know about. So now whenever you jailbreak a device and it's tethered and you turn it off, it used to be if you tried to turn it back on, you just get stuck in recovery mode and have to boot it up and you wouldn't be able to use your iDevice at all. But now, if it's tethered and you turn it off and turn it back on, you will be able to use your device if it, you'd be able to use it like it was unjailbroken. Like, Cydia wouldn't, want, wouldn't open, none of your tweaks would work or anything. Like, it's just like they wouldn't, they weren't there, but the Cydia icon will be there, but... Okay, so let's do this jailbreak. First thing you will need is Red Snow 9 or 0.9.6 RC8. Now let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, and you'll need to download your IPSW file for your firmware. You're supposed to browse for it. And this does work on iPod Touch 4, iPhone 4, and iPad. There's only one iPad, so. Wi-Fi, 3G, I don't really think it matters. Now it has to process the kernel, all that stuff. Patching kernel, whatever that means. Now for first time jailbreakers, install Cydia, battery percentage, whatever, I don't really care. Click next. Now you need to make sure your device is off and plugged in. So first, I actually need to plug in my device. No, I don't need stocks. Who cares about stocks? So now it's plugged in. What you need to do is put it into DFU mode. If you've never done that before, just watch this. What you do is hold your sleep wake button for three seconds, then hold your home button, keep them both, press them both, then for 10 seconds and let go of the sleep wake button, only hold the home button. So let's do this. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it should be in DFU mode by now. Now you just click next on Red Snow. Jailbreak. Exploiting with lime rain, yada yada. Screen will turn white. You'll get that. Then you'll see this. I really like it. It's really fancy. For some reason. I like it a lot. Instead of just having a little logo up there. I like seeing this. Red Snow will say done, but it's not really done until all this pleat... Can you even read that? Because all it says is, please wait, please wait, please wait. Some numbers, some random, random letters, please wait. And then it'll do all that. Now, sent, while this is doing its stuff, I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about the new jailbreak that's supposed to be coming out. Green, the developers of Green Poison have actually released a video of them ha having the iPhone 4 on 4.2.1 untethered jailbroken with Green Poison. So that should be out really, really soon. And then you'll, yeah, this. I like the pineapple. And also, a uh, little, you know, just one of the little things that just makes all the difference in the world. If you, um... If you have to respring for some reason, you get the little pineapple logo instead of the Apple logo. I like that. But it doesn't do that if you respring with SB settings. Sorry. And then another thing, whenever you first jailbreak it, you'll just have the white Cydia icon, which is not a good thing. Cydia will just crash and not open a single time. So you'll need to go through Lime Rain again and click Boot Tethered right now, and then it'll work. You won't have to do that every time. 
but yeah. So that's pretty much it. Just I guess we'll wait for this to boot up and I'll just prove that it's jailbroken. See, I wasn't lying about the pineapple logo. This will take a little bit longer to reboot than usual, but not painfully long, about as long as the iPod Touch 2G. I guess I'll go ahead and click done on Red Snow. It's 1.30. So yeah, your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad is jailbroken right now. Peace.